Let me tell you how Wayne County, Detroit, Michigan, Suite 201, ruined my wedding. Yep, you heard me right. The government who issues marriage license ruined my wedding twice. First time, because we expedite the copy of a birth certificate for my spouse to be, and we figured that would take no problems at all. It ended up being about two months when it finally came in. Oh yeah, let's play blame COVID. I, I don't think that was the problem. We paid extra money to have it shipped fast to us. We're in Detroit, so that we're not on the hicks or anything. And that was the first time we had to postpone the wedding because it didn't arrive in time, which we found to be amazing. We didn't know when we were going to get married because we had no idea when we were going to get it, if we were going to get it. Excuse me. So then I went to go get the marriage certificate 33 days prior, having to jump through all the hoops and everything online to get an appointment. And finally I get in and I brought all the stuff with me because I had read the website. And uh, then I found out that, oh, my birth certificate is no longer any good. So... I had to call the wedding off because now I had to order a birth certificate because my birth certificate was no longer any good even though it was issued at the hospital in the city where I was born with all the fancy everything on it and it's been accepted by everybody and their brother for 60 years including the United States Navy but it's not good enough to get married with and Detroit Wayne County should be ashamed of themselves for not clarifying on their website what you really need. Certified birth certificate is not a birth certificate issued by the hospital. It's a birth certificate that the state collects money on when you file to get it so they can certify your birth certificate. Now I'd like to know how they're certifying it since they weren't there they didn't see me born, they don't know my parents, and they're going to certify my birth to it. Both my parents are dead now, and 60 years ago I was born, 60 plus. So how are they going to certify anything when they weren't there? But yet, that certified copy is what's needed for me to get married in the United States, in Michigan. Now they should be ashamed of themselves for not fixing the website because I done told them and as of today it still reads the same thing certified birth certificate well I had a birth certificate nice one beautiful one no creases no wrinkles no folding marks no stains it's good for 60 years but not today not when I went after my marriage license